when the narcissist realizes they messed up. When they realize that they didn't treat you right. When they realize that they made the wrong decision by leaving you. It's a nice idea to think that the narcissist will one day realize that they messed up. But in most situations, this will never happen. They're never going to come to that conclusion. They're never going to realize that they messed up. The narcissist has to see you in a certain way in order to function. When they first met you, they idealized you. In that moment, you were perfect. They had to see you that way in order to obtain their supply. If they saw you as anything less than perfect, you wouldn't have been good supply. So in that moment, you had to be everything they wanted you to be. You couldn't be anything less than perfect because then that wouldn't fuel them. Of course, no one is really perfect. We all make faults and mistakes. We all have flaws and imperfections. But the narcissist denies reality. They exist in this fantasy world where everything is either good or bad, perfect or flawed. which includes themselves. This is the failure in their thinking. They cannot bring together the positive and negative qualities of themselves or other people into a realistic whole. It's a defense mechanism against how they really feel about themselves. Deep down they feel completely worthless and insignificant. But they created a false self who is everything they wish they were. They created this false character who is perfect in their minds. And this is just to compensate for how they really feel about themselves. Whenever they are around people, they will project their, ne their positive or negative qualities onto them. They can never interact with a separate individual person. You can only ever be an extension of them. And when they first met you, they saw you as an extension of their false self. In that moment, you were perfect. But they cannot do this for long periods of time. They will eventually start comparing themselves to you. They will start competing with you. Because they start observing how you do certain things. Or they become aware of your qualities, abilities or achievements. And then it makes them feel inferior to you. They have a black and white mentality. In their world, you are either all good or all bad. 
So when they start comparing themselves to you, it makes them feel inadequate. It makes them feel completely worthless. They are constantly fighting against this distorted idealistic image of you in their minds, which is why they become so bitter and resentful towards you, which is why they hold grudges against you. Because this ideal image of you is making them feel inferior to you. That's what they're comparing themselves to. And it's something they can never live up to. Because in reality, no one can be perfect. But their disorder is designed to block them from seeing this. They created their false self because they couldn't accept being anything less than perfect. And when they first meet a target, they have to see them as being perfect. They have to see things in this way in order to function. Even when they're devaluing you, once they start comparing themselves to you, they have to compete with you. They're fighting against these thoughts in their minds of how they really feel about themselves. They're shame based. They will do whatever they can to avoid reflecting on their shame. It's too painful for them to deal with. Which is why in most situations they're never going to realize they messed up. There might be small windows where that idea does surface in their minds, but they're not going to entertain that over a long period of time. They're not going to accept that they were the cause of the problem. They're never going to see it that way. For them to function, they have to continue seeing you as the problem. They have to see it as though you're weird or crazy. Or as though there's something wrong with you. Because if they don't, it's just going to trigger them to look at themselves. They're going to experience shame. And it's just so painful for them to deal with that it comes out in aggression. It results in them taking it out on you or someone else. They refuse to self-reflect or look within. And even if the narcissist did come to you and say they messed up, they don't really believe that. It's just a part of their manipulation. Their disorder is designed for them to survive. It's designed to get them what they need. So when they need supply from you, they will feel compelled to say or do whatever they think will get you back. They will give you fake apologies, fake epiphanies. They will future fake. But they're not serious about any of that. The only thing they care about is supply. It doesn't matter what the narcissist says to you or does for you. It's not because they care about you. It's not because they've realized they've messed up. That's still a part of the manipulation. It's designed to fool you. When they hoover you, 
it's just because they've re-idealized you. They see you as being perfect again because they need supply. But they're never going to entertain the idea that they messed up over a long period of time. There might be small windows where they experience this, but they quickly push, push it away. They don't reflect on it. They make up excuses or justifications for their actions, or they blame it on someone else. They're never going to sit down and think that maybe they shouldn't have done that. They're just going to see it as though they were just reacting to something you did. Or it wasn't that bad. If it was bad, you deserved it. There's always some excuse. They always have some way to justify it. They feel entitled to do whatever they want. Because in their minds, their false self is so desirable and attractive, so special and important. That it deserves a certain level of treatment. And it shouldn't be restricted by the morals or rules that everyone else has to follow. In their minds, they're above that. And they can do whatever they want. They have to see themselves in this way in order to function. If they didn't look at themselves in this way, they wouldn't be narcissists. But then they can't deal with the pain and shame. They don't want to self-reflect or look within. They'd rather just project everything outwards. At least then they don't have to deal with it. They were taught from a young age that they don't have to be held accountable for their actions. Or maybe they weren't allowed to make mistakes in their childhood. Either way, this led to them creating a false self who can't do anything wrong. This character who is perfect. They're never going to realize that they messed up. They're never going to look at it that way. Even if they did the same thing as you. They would look at it as though it was okay for them to do it. They have an exaggerated sense of their own abilities and importance. Which makes them feel inherently deserving of privileges and treatment. It makes them feel like they should be able to do whatever they want and not be held accountable for it. And that is why they're just never going to see it that way. They're never going to look at it as though they messed up. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at NARC Survivor, Dakota UK. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.